Manish Sisodia right now at the Rouse Avenue court. He reaches court all smiles. We saw the visuals there coming in of Manish Sisodia smiling when he makes his way into the courtroom, Rouse Avenue court, amid huge police deployment. The CBI right now is likely to push for judicial custody. Custody of the CBI has ended. Manish Sisodia completes the six, seven day custody with the CBI. All right, jail for Manish Sisodia. This is big information, an update coming in on uh, Manish Sisodia as he's been brought into the Rouse Avenue court, we believe. Right now, Manish Sisodia has been uh, asked to stay in prison. This is the big update coming in. Manish Sisodia, who's been arrested by the CBI in the Delhi liquor policy scandal, the alleged scam that's said to have taken huge kickbacks. The Aam Aadmi Party, under the watchful eyes of the Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia allegedly arbitrarily announcing this policy that uh, was designed to gain commissions and kickbacks from the liquor licensees. While the CBI investigates the matter, we see Manish Sisodia who's in CBI custody. He's been produced in court while the CBI custody ends. The court has now pushed for, the, uh, has announced jail for Manish Sisodia until the 20th of March. Big update here. Former Delhi Deputy Chief Minister now sent to judicial custody until the 20th of March. This is what was expected. Sisodia now gets at least 14-day judicial custody. Shrishti Oja joining us for more. Uh, Shrishti, I'd like to ask you, uh, stressing on the fact of what, what really is the purpose of Manish Sisodia uh, being sent to jail for 15 more days. We believe that 15 days now, until the 20th of March, he will be in prison, judicial custody. Well, yes, Nabila, we're getting live updates from inside the court. We have our colleague, Kanu Sharda, who's sending live updates from what's happening inside the court. And what we're hearing is that CBI has not sought further police custody of Manish Sisodia, after which the court has sent him to uh, judicial custody till March 28th, which is basically a 14-day judicial custody as is granted by the court. What CBI has, however, said and informed the court is that the conduct of the queue is not correct, which is why there's a possibility that they may seek further CBI custody custody of uh, Sisodia later. What they've also claimed is that there's a possibility of uh, Sisodia and his uh, team influencing the witnesses in this particular uh, case. They have said that they are terrifying the witnesses and they're giving political color to the entire proceedings. This is what, uh, this is a, a big claim that has come from CBI now before the court. They're also saying that witnesses in the present case are under apprehension that they will be targeted. So they've basically called Sisodia's conduct in this particular case incorrect and which is why they've said that there is a possibility that in future CBI may seek further custody, may need uh, to seek further CBI custody of Sisodia. As of now, he has been sent to uh, judicial custody till uh, uh, March 20th. Now, Senior Advocate Mohit Mathur, who is appearing for CBI, uh, for Mrs. Sisodia, has however uh, said that the information that is be being given by CBI before the court is not correct and uh, uh, Media needs to be hauled up and not Sisodia for uh, the way, uh, uh, for any political color that is being given to the proceedings in this present case. So, uh, they want at this point Manish Sisodia, well, uh, Shishti, Manish Sisodia at this point we hear has been granted judicial custody until the 20th of March, which means the whole 14 days that he will stay in judicial custody.